All right, guys. All right, guys. Pro action. Oh, that's not the right layer. Pro action coming at you here. Oh, are we going to get loaded? All right, guys. Pro action coming at you here in the Blitz World Series. The action rolling on. We got Quas in red fighting out of Jordan on the right. We got Artie in yellow fighting out of the UK on the left. Uh, so these guys are both in the Super 6, banging out round robin style. Everyone plays each other once to go on to the Final Four to bang out with Marco and Kian. So Quas coming off of a loss uh, to Luke so far. He's on one loss. Uh, this is Artie's last game so far. So he's like two wins, two, a couple wins, a couple losses or something. Uh, so Artie's definitely had more experience on the map so far. But Quas, if you guys don't know him, Quas, a very, very scary traditional player. Uh, top five in the world traditional. So uh, he's always someone to be a little bit scared about. But... We've seen so far on this map, it's not about how good you play Blitz, it's not about how good you play Red Alert 2, it's about how good you play this map. This map has a lot of kind of weird combinations, and at the pro level, there are set factions. Um, so, you know, the set faction, the, the allied stuff with the GIs over the hill, you gotta keep your head on a swivel. I've got the knowledge. Predictions are up with the new predictions. So we got 10 people voting on Quas, seven people voting on Artie. So very, very similar. Um, yeah, it's hard. You know, this is one of those classic matchups we see in Blitz where, you know, in traditional, Quas would win this game 999 times out of 1,000. But in Blitz, Artie's, Artie's a beast, man. Artie plays a lot of Blitz. He understands this map. He's definitely got more reps in on the map. So we'll see if that helps. Wait, oh, the, the audio's off? Audio's off? What if I talk with my mouth really open? Is, is, I'm just kidding. All right. Uh, okay, so interesting build here from Artie, stretching down that bottom side, a bunker out and a para drop. Artie, see, Artie's got a plan. Artie's got a plan. Both players actually kind of stretching towards that bottom side here. Artie out with a couple drones, early desolator. Uh, very nice build here from Artie. Look at that financial position to have uh, desolators out, radar, bunkers, sentry guns, and still be a... Uh, Sitting at a thousand. Ooh, Artie is already gonna start bottoming out. Very close here. Uh, he wants an engineer, but needs to watch his economy here. Okay, so he is gonna go get the genetic mutator and Quas with super early tech. Look at this battle lab, battle lab on four oils. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, all right. So already going for more war factories. Three war factories out now. And a cure off coming from Quas on the bottom side, and Quas is dead ass broke right now. So Quas really needs to get some value out of this cure off. I'd like to see a couple drones behind it potentially to maybe try to get in and slow these flax down. Uh, you really want to try to support your cure off when possible. And so he, Quas is going to get in and just dive on a couple of these flak tracks. Nice move. He does get a couple flak tracks. This is cure off. He's going to have to stop for the bunker. He's not going to be able to get much else. Takes a bunker, a sentry gun. Can he get the War Factory? Oh, does get the War Factory. So did value there. And an offensive para drop from Quas in the base now as well. All right, all right. So now Artie, Artie's got to be looking for a bit of a counter punch. He's going to start to fall a little bit behind here. That War Factory hit was pretty nice. How, how are the economies? Ooh, and Artie's economy struggling a little bit here as he goes tech as well. Now out with the Naval Yard. So Artie, there's a lot of things Artie wants right now. He doesn't have the money for any of them. He wants his Iron Curtain. He wants his Kirov. He wants his Dreadnoughts. Quas now with another uh, Kirov and a uh, pretty significant... Oh, <laughs> never mind. A very, very significant Iron Curtain advantage here. So it does counter that para drop topside. Saves the Battle Lab. Okay, okay. Kirov just targets the flak tracks. Genetic mutator from Artie. Artie uses the genetic mutator. He's got a lot of conscripts in this group. He's going to push in. What is Quas's counter? Quas needs to get a desolator over here ASAP. Desolator on the way. That desolator should thin out the, the fodder first. Good decision from Quas, allowing that desolator to get in and do work before he pushed into that fodder. Could have been very, very scary. Quas now with a dreadnought as well. Two dreadnoughts. So Quas definitely ahead on tech. Quas on quite a bit of radiation. Artie could pull ahead in this uh this tank engagement though. Love to see a love to see a sentry gun from Artie. And Artie kind of playing with Quas a little bit here. I thought Artie had a tank advantage. Oh, the Iron Curtain. I was I always miss that. I'm always like, why is uh, Artie behaving strangely? So Artie was just trying to matador a little bit there, trying to stay away from, give himself some open field to run when the Iron Curtain came. Unfortunately, it didn't work out very well. Uh, so Quas able to swing that. Uh, tank situation very nicely thanks to that iron curtain very very beautiful move there are flags stronger when they're loaded what are flags what are flags okay tons of desolators now from Artie, just trying to delay this position but i'm not really sure what his uh his winning 
Oh, flax, flax, flax. No, no, flax are the same when there's people in them. That'd be sick, though. There should be windows on the flax for them to shoot out of. Berg, can we get windows on the flax? All right, all right. So, already, I mean, already delaying his death nicely here, um, with the desolators and stuff, but I'm not really sure Artie has much of a winning combo here. Yeah, mini BF. <laughs> yeah, so... Yeah, Artie sends it down, uses the Iron Curtain, trying to take something with him. Uh, Slicer, are you in here? We got your new custom map. Slicer's new custom map. We got a really, really cool... It's called the Slicer unit. It's a really, really fast BF that floats. It's pretty cool. Custom-made map for Slicer. Donating more than $50. Kirov going unchecked. Already not much else to do here. Yeah, already just making uh, making making Quas work for this first one. First game pretty decisive here. Gonna go to gonna go to Quas now. Again, this is that's the matchup where you expect Quas to take it. Now here's where things get interesting on this map. Once you start getting allied involved, especially with a player like Artie, because Artie's uh. You guys know that, um, am I watching my own stream? Okay, don't need to do that. So, you know Artie's gotten the allied reps in. What we just saw Luke do to Quas, um, Artie's gonna be in a similar boat to a lesser degree. Luke is, Luke is the GI master, um, but, uh, but Artie definitely is gonna have an allied plan here. So we'll see if, we'll see if Quas learned from it. We'll see what Quas brings to counter. Warning, genetic mutator detected. All right, all right. So now Quas on the right side, already on the left. So allied versus allied now. This is this is the match where the GIs are a little, there's so many, obviously allied versus allied countering the GIs. You got about 57 different things at your at your disposal. The snipers, the IF, uh, the snipers, the seals, other GIs. Um, this will be interesting. So both players pumping some early GIs. Looks like Quas is just filling his huts though, whereas Artie is uh Artie's gearing up an offensive move here. All right, so the Rockies over to counter the GIs. Quas early Rockies and quite a few Rockies. Uh, he's gonna he's focusing on evicting the Huds. He probably needs to go bottom side. Needs to win, so we should win this Rocky battle. This is a bit scary for Artie here, and Artie with no War Factory to support, so he can't win that Rocky battle. Um, Artie needs to get a War Factory. He needs to get some IFVs out, but Artie's broke. Oh, he needs to target. Oh, Quas Quas needs to target the Rockies one by one. Patriot missile out now. Oh, just out of range. Does not want to lose any Rockies. And now Quas with quite a few Rockies and now just going to try to harvest an elite by trying to kill GIs possibly here. I'm going to go up and grab the airport. Yeah, and these Rockies just need to keep picking targets, but just needs to be careful. Obviously, you don't want to lose them. All right, Paradrops on the left side. Double Paradrop. Artie's broke. The double Paradrop. That MCV is going to melt, right? Artie needs to start running about an hour ago. Will it get out of range? Rockies are going to dive on it. MCV goes, oh, 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 <laughs> the, MC the MCV on one tick. Let's go, boys. Oh, the Eagles miss. The Eagles miss. Oh, my God. What are we seeing right now? And Quas was a little late to switch over to that MCV with his Rockies. Already now looking for a counter punch. Already got a little too excited there. I think Artie should have taken a breather for a second to collect himself. Eagles coming now. Very, very nice. Wow, wow, wow. All right, so Quas now. Artie just so far behind. It was a beautiful hold, but um, Artie's broke, though. It's one of those positions where it's like, okay, I've recovered, I've held, but now what? Now what? Um... So, so already gearing up the GGI IFVs. 
And so this is, yeah, this could be a story of financials here. And Quas on 2K looking pretty comfortable. Uh, yeah. Very, very interesting position here. All right, so Artie, let's see if Artie now, and now Quas's money's bottoming out as well. These oils are, or sorry, the eagles are gonna be very, very devastating. So I'd like to see these eagles, see what the target is here. Um, but look at that unit control from Artie. Oh, and the eagles, multiple eagles go down without even dropping their bombs. A very, very nice defense from Artie. These GGI IFVs are so fast. Uh, if well managed, can get a lot of damage done. And Quas really committing to these Rockies right now. Um, but he does have the money for it. Both players' economies now catching up with them. Uh, Quas now 6-7. So he's got the Eagles coming. Battle Lab out now for Quas. So Quas, this is a position where Quas is ahead. I think Quas could be taking bites, uh, putting on some offensive pressure probably. But Quas, I think, just feels like he can advance his position even further. Um, so just choosing to kind of use his Eagles to try to slow him down. But Artie with a very, very nice oil build here. Look at Artie's oils. Very nice and spaced out. Um, and so that one oil did no other damage. So uh, that's not really a great trade for, well, Quas has, Quas on 7K at us, so it doesn't really matter, but um, yeah, you hate to lose so many Eagles and only take one oil. I think there's probably some better targets here. Uh, Quas could go be, go on the water here and take this oil, would take that MCV. So this is looking pretty juicy, but Quas, I think you gotta try to come around the water here is the move. Quas now in with a naval as well. Rocky's pushing in the GGI IFVs and oh, a couple Patriot missiles. Okay, okay. Wow, and a nice hold from Artie here. Wow. And Artie, uh, this is an absolutely incredible, uh, incredible comeback of a point here from Artie. Being on an MCV, a refugeed MCV on the run with one tick of health. Uh, the naval battle out now. Quas having to go, uh, both players having to go cruisers first to try to counter the the, the Rockies. The elite IFV topside from Artie putting on a highlight reel. Grabs one oil. Oh, gets one oil. Not able to get the second. Decides to run with it instead. Wow. So, yeah, and I'm surprised. You know, there was a pretty big window of opportunity, I think, there for Quas at one point in that early game right after the initial exchange where he was still quite a bit ahead, wasn't able to get much value out of it. And now these cruiser, these destroy <laughs> these destroyers, I forget what they're called because they never do anything. Those destroyers just destroyed an oil. That is hilarious. Uh, you don't want to let that happen. Uh, destroyers, dolphins, so a little bit of a naval battle here. And Quash is maybe a little bit confused. Quas on 11k. Artie, Artie smoking it to the filter. He's broke again. He's buying everything he can get. Um, I like that. I like though Artie playing kind of with this caged animal mentality. You know, he started off. Oh, that that elite IFV goes bottom right. Did it take a battle lab and an AFC? Oh my god. Oh my god. Artie, Artie, what are we seeing right now? Wow, and now already with map control somehow gonna get in and grab the genetic mutator and Quas, I think Quas is just, I think Quas might have kicked his feet up uh, in the opening of this game, kind of thought he was so far ahead, wasn't, wasn't worried about it. Wow. Okay, so now engineering, so grabs that genetic mutator, Rocky's top side, battle lab out. Someone just put themselves low power. Yeah, so already now low power. How is the dust going to settle on this one? Artie's broke, so it's tempting to think that matters. Artie's been broke all game. So apparently Artie doesn't need money. Uh, big naval battle here. It looks like Quas is ahead. Hard to say with the Dolphins, though. And again, and Artie gets into Artie, Artie keeping the pressure on. So Artie with the higher ground, and here come the Prism Tanks. If Artie can control this hill and use his Prism Tanks, he can start getting a lot of damage done. Big engagement here in the middle. The Rockies are in an absolute mosh pit. Hard to know what's going on there. But uh, but does Quas does have more anti-air behind. So Quas does pull way ahead on the on the Rocky battle. But now the IFVs, Quas gonna gun down the IFVs, and Quas pulls ahead. And it's, you know, to the untrained eye, you look at an engagement like that, it's tempting to think like, Oh, what just happened? You throw all the units together and someone comes out. It's all about unit control, guys. Uh, the micro, those individual actions per minute. Uh, and, and Quas made some really good decisions there. Ultimately, he was able to prevail on a pretty even battle, I think. 
Quas might have been ahead to start though, but the aircraft carriers are out now from already on the bottom side, but Quas has quite a few dolphins, so already trying to push him with those aircraft carriers. The dolphins are gonna stuff it in two minute warning. So the question is, can either of these players close out before the timer? Uh, and if not, how do you get as many points as possible before then? Uh, Quas's army is looking scary here, but Quas with no anti-air in this group. So Quas has to use his Rockies to back these units. And, uh, oh, Quas gets over the Dolphins, takes out Artie's uh, Naval Yard. Very nice. Uh, there is an AFK Paradrop top right. Forget the Paradrop, Quas. Time to go to work. Time to micro units. Quas has everything he needs right now, but he just has to keep... Oh, look at Artie's Genetic Mutator. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. There's so many Brutes, but Quas pulled the Rockies back just in time. Uh, so countering now. Quas pushing on the left side. The Brutes go down. Quas can now bring the Rockies. Quas needs to bring the Rockies to the front lines. Uh, Quas will take this. Does he have the time? Yes, he does. One minute remaining. Uh, wow. <laughs> oh, my God. And let's make sure. Let's hope Quas keeps an eye on the timer here. What a banger, boys. Oh, my God. That is hilarious. If you guys are watching this one on YouTube, you're enjoying the action, drop a like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me make more content like this and helps get bangers like this in front of the world. Tell the YouTube algorithm, share this. Share this with the world. Wow, so Quas up to zero. <laughs> that is hilarious. That is hilarious. So, uh, already now... Wow. <laughs> yeah, already if already if already wouldn't have started from scratch two minutes into the game, it would have been a little different. Genetic mutator detected. Yeah, it's hard. I think you I think that's a good point. You do need to commit a little bit to the GIs. You gotta get some value out of them. GIs aren't cheap. You know, the GI rush, you gotta if you just kinda straddle the fence you halfway it, it can put you in a tight spot. Uh, another quick reminder, guys. All sorts of RA2 content out there. Uh, a lot of other creators and stuff. This is obviously the Blitz mod, the Tiny Map mod. Uh, there's traditional Red Alert 2 as well being played, obviously. Uh, RA2themoon.com. You can find links to all the different uh, Red Alert 2 content creators. You can also find links to download and play the game. Uh, download. You can find links to watch how to learn how to learn how to learn how to make maps. Snark has some really nice tutorials on that. Um, and some of the other guys. Links to some other Twitch YouTube channels. Uh, Fortune's Chaos, Doofus. Uh, a lot of those guys have some good traditional Red Alert 2 content as well. So, re2themoon.com. Share it with your friends. Tattoo it on your forehead. All right. Allied versus Sov now and Quas. Quas learned the hard way here. You got to go the GI rush. He, he played Luke. He realized, hey, I like this. I like this idea. So he's going to go bottom side. Now, on the bottom side, this is where the wall and the bunker are big. Wall and the bunker are big here. Uh, so the GI's on flat ground. The bunker does have an advantage. And look, Quas just walks around it. Quas just walks around the bunker. Uh, flak track. And so already going to get in, squashes those. And yeah, so Quas got no value out of that. And already now going to look for a counter punch. Three rhinos uncontested right now. Quas doesn't even have the money for a pillbox. He might have a pillbox ready. Hopefully he has a pillbox ready. And a defensive eagle. One eagle. One eagle. Nice pillbox. Eh, pretty good pillbox. I like that pillbox. Quas in trouble though. Quas is broke. Okay, okay, okay. Paradrop topside with rhinos. Nice, nice, nice. And Artie's gonna be taking this one home, guys. Hey, I'm smelling the smoke. I'm smelling the smoke. Where's Legend? The barn might be burning, boys. Artie. Artie's gonna pull off this win. Hopefully he pulls off another. Come down to game number five. Give us what we want. Give us what we need. The GI's come in here. And I'd, I'd love to see Artie just put a nail in the coffin here, get a little bit more offensive value. And uh, he does need to, oh, and he's he's in the death triangle. He goes in the pillbox death triangle. Don't go in the pillbox death triangle. So in this position now, Quas is so committed to his pillboxes, right? But he hasn't really had to build much else. So Quas on five oils, Quas's economy is fine here. Um, and uh, this is not, yeah, for, this is not a completely one position by, for Artie by any means. Um, 
Uh, yeah, so the, the Red Alert 2 Yuri's Revenge thing, that's a complicated one. I need to make a video that kind of discusses that, because when I first got back into the game after 15 years off, about a year ago I started, kind of got back into the game again, I just called everything Red Alert 2. That's why my channel's called RA2 Cash Games, wherein, in fact, we're playing a modded version of Yuri's Revenge. To me, like, I always thought, I thought everyone played Yuri's Revenge. I'm like, oh, it's the newer version of the game. Like, to me, I don't say Yuri's Revenge Red Alert 2, I say Red Alert 2 Yuri's Revenge Expansion Pack. Um, but, ultimately, the, the short answer to that question is Yuri's Revenge and Red Alert 2 are incredibly different. It's not just the Yuri faction, it's not just the added units. There's also uh, a lot of differences in, like, the economy and the build speeds and things like that that like, create these, like, differences that are, that are quite complicated. And if you, if you get in the wrong Discord on the wrong day, uh, you'll have a, uh, quite a few heated people discussing which game is better. Um, Eagle's out now to counter that Battle Lab. Does sell the Battle Lab. Nice sell from Artie. Artie now out with tech. Very nice. Uh, but a lot of players, a lot of, so a lot of players will only play one or the other. Uh, so Woody, uh, the best player in the world, uh, he will only play Red Alert 2. Um, it's a lot more common. Woody's from China. A lot of the kind of Eastern players, the Chinese players, um, they prefer Red Alert 2. Uh, so a lot of them only play Red Alert 2, and Woody is one of those people. All right, and we move into a, we settle into a nice mid game here, and uh, Quas is nice and tucked in. He's got his Prism Towers. He's got about 15 defensive para drops. Very, very nice. Lloyd with the raid, my guy. Thank you very much. Okay, okay, okay. Yep, so that's a nice hit. Grabs an oil, gets a chain reaction. And Artie's pumping the Kirovs. Artie's pumping the Kirovs. Let's go, boys. Four Kirovs coming. The genetic mutator. The genetic mutator. And only Patriot missiles. And he's pushing in the Rhinos behind. Quite a few Patriot missiles here, but Artie keeping the pressure on. He got that momentum early on. Is just going to carry it straight through. Kirov's a little bit confused there for a second. I'd like to see one Kirov stop and hit the Patriot missiles. Um... Oh, the elite GGI IFV, or sorry, the elite GGI holding down the fort. I love it. I love it. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, of course. There are there are also Chinese players that play Yuri. Um, I think as a whole, I think most of them. I think it's they do prefer Red Alert two more, but maybe not. I guess. Okay. Wow. Kirov still doing work. Yeah, and you saw there, so Quas just wasn't able to comfortably switch over to IFV, so had to, had to strictly try to get it done with. Oh, the worst Iron Curtain of all time. The single tank Iron Curtain from Artie, still enough. Artie puts one on the board. The action rolls on. The action rolls on. Wow. All right, so we switch over factions again, and Artie now, so now Artie with Allied. Uh, point number four here. Um, <laughs> uh, all right, all right, all right. Warning, genetic mutator detected. Oh, oh, no, not on point number four. The lag monster is going to do us like that. The lag monster. Oh, oh. The fat man owner. The fat man owner was like, dude, this guy's got a this guy's got a lag monster. I'm in. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, buddy. Saying I forgot your follow too. Sorry guys, I've just been uh, a lot on my play today. Saying thanks for the follow, uh, Dresby, Speedy. I'm sure you guys already left. It was an hour ago. You guys already left upset with me. Probably unfollowed me. Thanks for the follow anyway. Quas isn't back in the game yet. Uh, Quas is still in. Quas might need to reboot. There's only one thing we can do. Oh, Quas is back. Quas is back. Ready? Oh, we had to play a little speed bump.
Yeah. <laughs> not exactly sure what the idea was there. <laughs> I'm not confused. I know exactly what's going on. The lag monster's messing with us. Warning. Genetic mutator detected. Lagging on mental omega? Yeah. The way she goes here. All right, guys. Looks like we're running smooth. Look at the turbines. Look at the allied turbines. That's what Revo does. Everyone else waits for the dogs to see how the dogs run. But Revo looks at the allied turbines. So I do that because I want to be like Revo. Simple as that. All right. Allied versus Sov now. It is best of five. For those of you guys struggling with mathematics, uh, if Quas wins this, he wins the, the match. If already wins it, we go on to a game number five. We officially have a barn burner, and someone has to fly to Jordan and wake up Legend so he doesn't miss it. Um, so, uh, Allied coming from Artie. The GIs are coming. Let's see how heavily he commits to this. It starts with juicing the hut, and Quas was able to get it. Um, it's all about the huts to start. The huts do need to slow down the GI rush. That was successful. Uh, Artie's GI is getting a little confused here. I think he should unjuice his huts, right? Uh, what do you think here, Luke? Should the should the Allied player stop to fill his huts, or do you just do you just send it downfield? What is Artie? What is this? Is Artie playing defense with his GIs? Did he just build 100 GIs to defend himself? All right, here we go. Let's go. Sell the farm. Unjuice the huts. Artie playing patty cake. He undeploys. He redeploys. Artie now pushing into that hut. Oh, and that is not a successful, uh, not a successful GI rush, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, I think he does need to commit one way or the other. Uh, so now he's re rerouting the GIs on flat ground talked about the GIs on flat ground lose a lot of value a single bunker in this choke point can really devastate things now the right move here is to take the tunnel you got to take the tunnel um, that's big that's the hype move uh, unfortunately the tunnel does not work because snark would not tell me how to make the tunnel work so you guys can blame snark for that one uh, is gonna get in and grab an oil here uh, but unfortunately oh switches over to the tanks and the tanks stuff it he doesn't get the oil and now already a bit on his heels but Quas is broke. Yeah, no. Both players' economies are fine. Artie cannot afford to dive here. That's a scary amount of rhinos. Offensive pair drop on the backside. Um, so now Artie needs to pivot a little bit. He didn't get the value he wanted out of those GIs. Now he's in trouble. Wing777 in the chat. He never misses a barn burner. Quas low power. How can you tell someone's low power? Does the power plant graph it? Without a radar, how do you tell? All right. So already, already doing this, the, doing this the hard way. We're going straight Grizzlies into this. Um, Eagles out though. Uh, hits, hits a flag track. Doesn't lose an eagle. That's always good. I'm trying to mess with that hut. This hut's really annoying, especially with Grizzlies because. They're made of plastic, so uh, this this fully juiced hut pretty much cuts off, kind of zones already out of this. He cannot afford to throw grizzlies right now, exactly like we. Oh, and Quas repairs the hut. I love that. I love that. That is super heads up. Oh, is that just doing the calculations? Big brain stuff. Ooh, does get in and grabs that battle lab. I like that for Artie. Controlling the Soviet player tech is huge right now. This is, uh, we switch into a tech race here. I'm surprised Quas wasn't able to get, or wasn't able to, or at least didn't try to get some more uh, offensive value early on with his rhinos. I do think he had a lead, and I need Artie to stop messing with that hut. Quas has decided that hut will never die, and he needs to stop uh, trying to make it die. <laughs> uh, but Artie obviously wants to be able to take the higher ground here. Uh, so that sniper IFV is very nice. Mirages are coming for Artie. So the battle lab back out for Quas now. So Artie's got his three eagles. He's got to get the eagles going. Got to get the eagles going. He has to hit that battle lab again. If Quas gets an Iron Curtain, if Quas gets an, uh, a Dreadnought or an Iron, uh, a Kirov, oh, gets the Iron Curtain and the Kirov. Those eagles were AFK. The eagles were juiced. The eagles were juiced. Don't love that route. Ooh. I think he got to go around the bottom. Oh, the scorpions are out now. That's a nice defense, but got to go around the top or the bottom. He went right into those flak tracks. Uh, Artie, Artie's not making things easy for himself. Kirov out now. Artie's got snipers on the ledge. I like that. He's got mirages coming. So you guys know uh, Soviet's primary counter to the mirage tanks is the desolators. Enough snipers will counter those, so I like that thought from Artie. Um, Kirov now from Klaus being rerouted. Wow, look at these prism towers. It's a lot of prism towers. This is a scary position. Oh, the dreadnoughts. 
Oh, the Dreadnoughts. Oh, nice. Okay, only loses one oil there. Again, a nice oil build from Artie. Very good map awareness, spreading those oils out to reduce the, the damage. Scorpion's now out to support the Dreadnoughts. Uh, Artie kind of, Artie, oh, can that Prism Tower? Oh, I'd love to see a Prism Tower right on the shore. Artie has bigger fish to fry though. Top side, that Kirov still running around. Oh, oh, does force shield the Iron Curtain, but that puts him low power. So the Iron Curtain is down while he's low power. The Dreadnoughts are doing work, though. He needs to counter these Dreadnoughts, but the Scorpions are doing work. The Prism Tanks could counter this Dreadnought. What is the target for this Dreadnought? It's going to get it off. Oh, the AFC. Oh, and takes a full pad with it. Absolutely devastating. Very nice offensive maneuvering there from Quas. Uh, Artie just a little slow to defend, and uh, Quas knew he was going to get one shot off. He made the right decision. Oh, and terrible tank control. Terrible tank control from Artie as his units get strung up going off that cliff the iron curtain comes in now uh, already on the run with his army uh iron it's a lot of rhinos here the rockies need to get in asap the tanks get gobbled up there's no anti-air in this group that's the only thing Artie has going for him but still a very very tough position the snipers are now shooting tanks it's very difficult they have to shoot right down the right down the the driver's window i'm just kidding the snipers are totally useless first tanks two elite rhinos now in this group already you see already just tried thought about sending it downfield there uh, thought otherwise um, yeah and a very very well orchestrated attack there from Quas and quite the game here uh, quite the game I mean ultimately a fairly uh, uh, Quas was definitely ahead here but like we talked about guys Quas top five players in the world uh, I mean incredible player so always fun to see out here in blitz uh, players like Artie these dedicated blitz players hanging out putting up good points a lot of good games a lot of good games These Rockies are doing work. He needs to target the flag tracks. He's diving on the nuke. He needs to target the flag tracks. Oh, he could have melted those flag tracks. I don't think it would have mattered, but I like the idea of it. Already going down swinging. He's got a genetic mutator. The genetic mutator's out. Yes, get the nuke. We call this a spite check. Oh, the iron curtain kills the brutes and the nuke. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, great games. That was good entertainment. Good entertainment.